Welcome to the Maronite Faith. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing with the character of the Bible that we've been um, we've been basically dealing with in the last few episodes, and this is Abraham. Today, we're going to be talking about Abraham and his son Ishmael. Um, we um, we know that God promised Abraham two things: land and descendants. As for the land, he showed it to him, but for descendants, Abraham was an old man and his wife was 90 years old and she was barren. So uh, basically there was no descendants. And um, and after seeing the land that, uh, that God had promised them, Sarah said to Abraham, look, I have a maid, an Egyptian maid called Hagar. Uh, if you have union with her, then you might have descendants from her and it will be descendants like the stars in, this, in heaven and the sand of the sea like how God has promised because I am barren and you are uh, basically an older man. It's, it might be difficult. And Abraham listened to his wife and had union with, ha with Hagar and he had his first son who is Ishmael. Ishmael, Ishma means uh, the one who, who listens. El is God, basically God listens. God listened to my prayer and gave me this, uh, this son, uh, Ishmael. But then uh, Abraham and, uh, and uh, Sarah had three visitors and we will have an episode just for that. And they basically told, told Abraham, no, God's promise to you was from Sarah, your wife. From her, you will have the descendants that God to, uh, told you about. And Sarah laughed because she knew that she, it was impossible for her to have children. And God proved the impossible possible by giving Sarah a son and his name was, was Isaac. So when Isaac was born and Sarah saw him being uh, raised with Ishmael, she didn't want Ishmael to inherit with her son. And she told Abraham, please, let the maid and her son go away for I don't want him to inherit with, uh, with my son. Abraham was distressed, the Bible says, because he loved his son Ishmael. But the angel said to him, listen to your wife. And that's what Abraham did. He listened to his wife and sent Hagar and her son away. As she was going away, she was lost in the wilderness, in the desert basically. And she said, I cannot watch my son die. So she left him aside and went away and, and wept. And then the angel appeared to her. We see this in Genesis uh, chapter 21, uh, verse, um, uh, verse 17. We say, angel, the angel said to her, and God, and God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand for I will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. This event itself is very important for us basically being Christians in the Middle East because we are uh, surrounded by our uh, brothers of the Muslim faith and for them this event plays a key role. We see a lot of times on TV that, um, that they are praying around a, a black Kaaba, uh, it's called, and they, they turn around it and they pray, and it's kind of the center of the faith. This, this Kaaba took place right where this, this passage that I read from the Bible is, uh, basically it depicts that passage from the Bible. If you look carefully at that, uh, at that Kaaba, next to it you will see some stairs that go down. These stairs lead to that well that we just mentioned, the well where the life of Ishmael was saved. And it is said, according to, the, to, 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 to their faith, that when Abraham knew that his son was saved there, he came and he built the first temple ever for God. And that's what we see. That's the, basically the, the Kaaba. It's a, a temple built by the hand of Abraham to say thank you because you saved my son uh, Ishmael. Now, in our Bible, it does not say that this place took that this event took place in Mecca and it does not say that uh, that Abraham uh, uh, built uh, built this temple but it's very important for uh, for our, our brothers to know what what's happening to know that this is also this is where they're praying they're praying where this uh, this event basically uh, took uh, took place and then after that, uh, we know that Ishmael grew and he did become a great nation, just like how God uh, has, has, has promised him. And after Ishmael and Isaac, uh, Abraham had six more sons from a wife called Keturah. 
that was the second wife of, uh, of Abraham. And many scholars and even Jewish scholars say she is the most ignored important character in the Bible. She gave rise to many nations in here in the, in the Middle East and uh, she bore for Abraham six sons. And, and one of those nations is the Midianites if, you, if you'd like to research them. So that these are basically the, uh, the sons of, uh, of, of Abraham. We will have a special episode about, uh, about Isaac and uh, the visit of the, the three visitors for Abraham and uh, Sarah as well. I wish you all a beautiful day and may God bless you always. Thank you.